Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how I've made this tiered panel card. It's basically the bendy cards but without the bend and I've just staggered the sizes there with the panels on the front. But I'm going to do a six by six version and I think I'm going to bring each of the panels in slightly as well so it adds a different look to it. But this is just a sweet little thank you card but I think it's going to work great for many occasions. It all stands up by itself but you can attach that onto a card blank if you want and it's easy to adapt the sizes as well the tiers are really easy to make bigger smaller you don't have to have three tiers or four really if you count that one you could just have two or you might want to have lots more so there's lots of ways to adapt this just the same as the bendy cards that i shared and i'll link that playlist up here because they're really sweet cards so this one's really easy to make so let me show you how so this is the paddington set i'm using You've got the ephemera there and the paper pad. I didn't use these ones on the card. The paper pad's lovely because you've got these two sheets here of these lovely images. So I'm going to be using this one today. And then these modern sentiments, they're one of my favourites. I love them and I've already cut the, the thank you there. It's really nice, bold sentiments there. So first of all, we'll do the three tiers. So you want, all of them are six and three quarters in width. And then this one is three and a half high. Along the long side, you're going to score at half, one and one and a half. And then five and a quarter, five and three quarters and six and a quarter. And then the next tier down again is that same six and three quarter width. And then the height of this one is two and a half. Again, you're going to score exactly the same way as the first one. And then this last one, same width again but this one is by one and a half. The heights of these, you can have any height you want. If you don't want to have yours at one and a half, you want to have it at two or two and a half. I just gave them, I think, one and a half inches between each one, or one inch, sorry. Yeah, so you can see there, they increase by one inch. If you want yours to increase by half an inch and do more tiers, or you want one and a half for every tier, you might only want to do two tiers and not three. It's really easy to adapt and add and take away. So hopefully you'll see that as we put it together. So you want those three pieces and then this is going onto a five by seven um, base here. You can stick it onto a card fold as well. So if you want to have it on a five by seven side fold, maybe you're doing a smaller size and it's going to go onto an A2 size card or larger. It's very easy to adapt it once you see how it's all put together. So this is a piece of five by seven with a piece of four and three quarter by six and three quarter card or red card on top. And then these are the three panels that are gonna stick on the front of the three tiers that I gave you. So this one here is four and a half by five and a half. And then I've got a piece of four and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then the pattern paper is four by five. Okay, again, I've stuck all of these on just to keep the video short. And this piece here is four and a half by four. And then you want a piece of four and a quarter by three and three quarter on top of that. And then you want a piece of four by three and a half. And then this one on the very front, I've only got the two, the, well, the one layer on this one. This is four and a half by two and a half with a piece of four and a quarter by two and a quarter stuck on top. So once you've stuck it all down, it's really easy to put together. So we're gonna start off with this one first, the largest of the tiers. And you want to create a mountain valley and a mountain fold on each side. So you want like an M shape, like so. So again, on that side there, you want to make sure that the, the outer tab is facing in. That's going to stick onto this piece here. And just do that with all of them. So you just want that M shape. And then again, now if you want to make these like the bendy version, then you just want to curve these pieces so they kind of pop out and bend more. But because I'm doing these, well, each one is going to stick out by as much as an inch. So you've got three inches that that's going to be able to expand by, which is plenty to support the card. So I'm going to use my quick grab glue here, run that all down the tabs like so. And then you want to line the bottom of this up with the bottom of the card. So it's obviously all going to stand. You don't want it to rock. Fold it all in and you want to make sure... that you've got five eighths of an inch border on each side there. So that should now, if you pull that out, be able to stand on its own. So just do that as a test. And then this one is gonna stick on the front. So the idea is it's floating now and you can't see that at all. 
I'm going to use the construction glue now for this. This is the Kalau glue below. It's linked, you know, below the video. But Beacon 3 and 1 is really good. And there's lots of other companies that have construction or solvent based glues. It's just there's no water in this, so it's great for paper crafts. So now this one, again, I'm lining up with the bottom and just bring it down so it's flat. And I just want to, for me, I'm going to make sure I've got the same red border on each side. If you lie that down there, you can see. Keep that all nice and straight, nice and flush with the bottom. And each time you stick something down, just open it up and just make sure that the card, oh, make sure that's secure, but the card isn't rocking, so that's standing nice. And then again, just gonna use the quick grab on the tabs and line this one up. If I just fold them in a little bit like that. And then this one, again, flush with the bottom. I just want to make sure that it's in the middle, or as good as. And then the last one. So that's all the tears stuck down. You can see on the side there, with them kind of squashed, it's coming out by about two inches. That's plenty for that to stand up. So then the topper is going to sit up on I might add a little spring behind that. I think it looks quite nice. Yeah, maybe like so. And then the idea was to have the thank you like this. And then I was going to use the little tag here in the baker's twine and maybe have something attached there because it is Paddington after all. Oh, yeah. And then I've got this one, which is from the paper pad. Just a nice trim. I thought I'd put that along the top there. So that's what I'm thinking with the decoration. So I'm just going to cut a piece to have a spring on the front there. Okay, I just went to stick a piece down and it was wrong. You want a piece, if you want to ha have this front decoration lifted as well, like I said, you can stick it right onto the card. This is four by two. And along the four inch side, you want to score at half, one, one and a half, and then two and a half, three and three and a half. And then you want to fold the same as those pieces. So a mountain, a valley and a mountain. And then again, mountain, valley, mountain. So you want something that looks like that. This is your little spring for the middle. So I'm just going to add my glue along there. And then again, line this up so it's flush with the bottom of the card. And then... Again, make sure this is in the middle. Everything all lines up nicely. And there's the finished card. I think it's lovely. It's going to work for so many occasions. I'm definitely going to revisit it and do slightly different size tiers. Like I said, I'll probably do that on the six by six version. All folds down. That will probably go into a bouncy envelope if not one of my box envelopes you can see the dimension on the side there but this is the white cards 300 gsm you don't need 300 gsm you could use like a 220 would be fine because you're layering up those papers so it becomes nice and strong and then it just kind of you know pops out and will stand but as i said before if you do want to add a card blank then you can i'm just going to write my message on the back there so as always, thank you for watching. I will have linked below the video all of the supplies that I've used today. I'll also have the other Bendy style cards that I mentioned coming up now. You might want to go and watch those next. And if you've enjoyed today and you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. And that way you won't miss out on any future videos. See you all again soon. Bye.